but now I'm a little bit stuck. Like, I have to tell you guys something really, really exciting. Transport, transport. Oh, really cheap, really cheap. I have a light on my camera now and it's so bright that I'm almost blind. <laughs> and I feel like a computer nerd or like a gaming nerd. Welcome guys to this new week vlog. It feels like I didn't film for a while because I lost some files. I organized everything now. I just bought a hard drive because it can't happen anymore. It was so annoying. So you're missing a few weeks. I'm so sorry for that. I have to tell you guys something really, really exciting. And it is that I'm going to India. I am so excited to go there. I'm really scared because it's completely out of my comfort zone, but I'm scared but so excited and i'm going together with susan and wisnu and we're gonna meet some people there as well so it's gonna be so much fun and i decided that i want to make daily videos there so i'm preparing so many things for india and i'm really busy with the bali retreat as well from a person where i work for next in in two weeks we have a bali retreat in lovina and i'm gonna show you everything we have a really nice planning it's all about mindset and everything but i will show you the behind the scenes and i help her to organize everything and i love to do that it's so nice to do that so welcome to this new week vlog i'm gonna show you this week again what i'm gonna do i just went to the market and i bought a few things watermelon banana dragon fruit two mango and one pineapple and i just got this hard drive and guys i think i didn't tell you yet because i think i lost the files but i have a new coffee machine this is my dream i'm so extremely happy with it you won't believe it it's like the grinder is inside here you have to put the beans in here and it's the best ever i will show it in a video i already had some coffee today so i'm not gonna make one now but i will definitely show you oh guys i just had a call for my job and now it is 6 15 and it's time to go to the beach i'm gonna meet with a friend of mine who uh came back to bali her name is maria and uh, actually we wanted to go to a sunset but it's already a bit late so maybe we'll just go to a cafe and have dinner and i haven't seen her for a while so i'm so excited i am back home and i had really really nice indian food together with maria but when i opened the door i just saw a, cro a cockroach on the floor here oh no <laughs> okay but i think a cockroach cannot do anything but it's just not a really comfortable idea. I don't know why this is happening. <laughs> but I had really, really nice butter chicken together with Maria. Maria's from the Netherlands as well. And um, she's finally back in Bali. And now it's 9.15. And I still need to do some work. And then I'm going to shower and sleep early. I have a light on my camera now. And it's so bright that I'm almost blind. <laughs> Okay, good morning guys. It is Tuesday morning. I just made some really nice breakfast. So I have banana, mango and pineapple. And I want to make a coffee, but I don't have any milk or like coconut milk or anything anymore. So I'm gonna wait until my go scent is here with my hard drive and then I want to get some milk. But I think in the meanwhile, I am gonna eat my fruit already. <laughs> oh, I love it to eat a lot of fruit in the morning. <laughs> And there we have it, two espresso with a lot of cream on top. I actually still need to figure out how I do the right settings because um, it goes too fast now. It should be shorter. There's like espresso is like a whole study or something. I don't know how it exactly works, um, but it's it all has to do with the size of the beans, how fine you grind them, and the water pressure, and how long you do it, and how many grams. And there's so much that I don't know about. So I have the new soya milk. I'm so curious about it. I know that many people say that it's not healthy or that it's not good for women or like many people talk a lot about every kind of milk and I do drink normal milk, but my favorite is almond milk. Um, okay, it's not the best. <laughs> But I'm happy with it. Okay, guys. <laughs> it is... 
134 and I was in bed and I couldn't sleep because I just realized that I didn't have normal dinner. So I ordered something and not many places were open, but there was still a burger place and I've actually never been here. It's called Hungry Hand Bali. Oh, I like it that it's packed like this. And fries. Wow, look at this. Mmm. Wow. It's almost, it's 1.30 in the night and I'm eating a burger. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy my burger and then sleep. It's way too late. See you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, in India you have to cover most of your body or at least I want to do it. It feels more comfortable for me so i'm now gonna go to a mall and i'm gonna look if i if i can find some long trousers and maybe some more really thin sweaters because this one is too thick and here i have a more thin one but maybe i can find but maybe i will find more of those so um yeah i think i want to go to kuta beach walk Let's go, it's, the sun is almost setting, but I want to go there before, let's go. Okay guys, I am in Kuta and I'm going to the mall. I hope you can hear me. And I'm now in the parking place, but normally I park in front, but it was so crowded. So I just went inside to the parking place, but now it's, I'm stuck here. I don't know where to go, where to enter the mall. Oh, I think it's here. I have arrived, as you can see. Um, I am back home from Kuta. And I am so happy that I live in Changu. It is so crazy in Kuta, like all the tourist places. Everyone is like, transport, transport. Oh, really cheap, really cheap. Like, ah, oh, it's making me crazy. Okay, I'm getting so much mes messages that I cannot ignore it. By the way, guys, my subscribers are going so insanely fast. I can't believe it. I'm so happy and grateful. And so many comments and so much love, so much love from everyone. Thank you if you subscribed and if you're commenting and if you're liking it. I love that. So actually I was looking for some clothes for India, but I didn't find, find anything. The only thing I found is a foundation because my foundation was done. Good morning guys! I just had a shower and now I'm fresh and clean again and I'm ready for today. The rain is over, it was raining all night and morning but I'm happy that it's over now. And I don't have any food at home so I should go and get some food. Um, and I'm preparing myself for India and for the Bali retreat. I'm so excited about it. But I want to ask you guys a question because I'm a little bit stuck with my video ideas like i really really love to make travel videos and the travel and the travel videos are also the best viewed videos and i love to do it the most but i'm also living in Chengdu, and it feels so boring to make week vlogs uh, and they are also not watched as good as the travel videos um, and in India I'm gonna make daily vlogs so that's gonna be so much fun It's gonna be more than 30 videos in the whole month that I'm gonna record I'm gonna upload them later But now I'm a little bit stuck like should I still make week vlogs in Changu or should I only do the travel vlogs? I want to upload at least one video per week every Sunday but I don't know what to film in Changu like today and this whole week I'm just working on my laptop I'm not doing so many special things and it feels so boring so I'm a little bit stuck with this I don't know what to do if you understand what I mean like what do you prefer like I think it's the nicest to make travel vlogs uh, but now I'm in the period in, in between two things you know because I'm going to India soon and then I will have a lot of content again. Um, but now I'm a little bit stuck. Yeah. Do you guys like the Changu week vlogs or do you prefer travel videos? In the end, it's my decision, of course, but I also want to listen to you guys. I have a crazy idea. I just saw on YouTube, actually, 
a video where someone connected their television to their laptop to use it as an extra monitor and now I'm so excited so I want to buy an HDMI cable so I can put an HDMI cable in here and then I can connect it to my laptop and then I can take off my television from the wall I just tried it and I was just standing there with the whole television in my hands and it was really risky but I I, I did put it back <laughs> and then I'm gonna try to connect my laptop to my television so I have an extra screen and this one is so big my laptop is 13 inch and I think this one is way bigger I don't know how that works but it's it's like twice maybe three times as big as my laptop and then I can put a table here and I can edit on the big screen I'm so excited if this is gonna work out I'm now gonna go through the rain to buy an HDMI cable HDMI HDMI I don't know but I'm so excited for it like I even want to go through the rain that's crazy I'm gonna put the serum on my face on my on myself if this is gonna work, I am gonna be so happy if the television connection thing will work. I found the cable at like a really local phone store. Okay guys, I am back home and I got it. I got an HDMI cable. I'm just gonna try if it will work. And I got this because I need this for India. And it's like the... Um, oh, so satisfying. It's like a plug where you can charge more things with at the same time. So if there are just two plugs in one room, I'm still able to charge four things. Okay, I'm gonna try the HDMI ca cable to do it in my laptop and in the television. I've never done something like this, but I think I can do it. It might not be so hard, right? Okay, so here's my television. I'm gonna try it first because the cable is long enough to connect it um, before I'm gonna take off the television. Okay, the cable is inside. Okay, <laughs> then I have here this extra thing. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's try it. I think it's working. Oh my god, guys, if this is gonna work, I am so excited. Okay, wait. Display settings. Yeah! <laughs> I am so happy, guys, and this was so easy. Guys, I did it. Oh my god, here's my laptop, and this is the big screen. It's my telev television, and I really took it off of the wall, and it's now standing here on my table. And I almost grew 1000 subscribers only today the video for the Balinese ceremony is online now for five days and I got almost 120 views 120,000 views within five days it's crazy <sighs> good morning it is Saturday afternoon it's not morning anymore and I feel like a computer nerd or like a gaming nerd you know because <laughs> I am just waking up, putting on a sweater and going on my computer laptop situation, editing, searching things for India. Uh, I just made a really nice iced coffee this morning. So yeah, this is my Saturday. I'm editing a lot. I am working a lot. Sometimes my life is, I feel so, my life is not boring, but sometimes it feels like I'm all the time at home and I'm not seeing anyone, but I love it. I love to be alone. I love to be in my house. I just love it. <laughs> Monday I'm gonna go to the hairdresser to fix my hair before India. I want to do my nails as well because they are a disaster. It is time to go to the market and I'm gonna buy some fruits. I need to go to the ETM first. I arrived at the food place. As you can see, here at the side of the road is the truck with one mouton for only 5k per kilo. I also have this in Lombok and they look really nice and fresh and big. as well okay i have my fruit but it starts to rain and my raincoat is at home i hope you can hear me because it's so loud here i am back home it started raining but it's dry already you can see my sweater is still a little bit brown uh 
red but not so much and i think mango season is over and i love mangoes so i'm actually a little bit sad that it's over but i have dragon fruit this was so cheap so uh dragon fruit i paid in total for two i think um 14,000. that's like 90 euro cent then here i have a lot of um rambutan I think in total I paid 10k or something, like 60 euro cent. And then the rest, in total I paid 39. So the rest was this mango steam. I love mango steam.